Hey everyone, my name is Arvin Olano and welcome to my YouTube channel. We are actually in an antique mall here in Vegas. I left my camera here yesterday and I was devastated. I was so scared it was gonna be gone. I just found the most amazing, found the most amazing thing and Okay, hold on, let me just show you. Okay, so the thing that I found is... Oh my gosh, you guys. I just found some really rare mid-century modern chairs. These are by Benny Linden, and I believe it's from the 70s. He's a Danish designer. Normally, a set of four of these chairs will sell for about 1500 online at a really cool, like, antique shop. But it is here for... It's here for 800 for the four chairs plus the table. I'm gonna see if they can give me a better deal, but let me just play with the table. I'm not sure if the table is actually Benny Linden. Let me check. Do we know if the table is from the same designer or is it just like any table? I just feel like the the tone is a little bit different. But look at the legs. Yeah. The legs are the same color as the chairs. Yeah, the top looks like it doesn't go, but. I am so relieved that my camera is still here. I actually just spoke to the seller of that dining set. We have to get it. He gave us such a good price. Could not say no. I'm currently updating our home and trying to get vintage pieces. I feel like I just have like a new appreciation for vintage. Take a look around. Okay, this lampshade is stunning. I wonder if they're selling this. Just the shade. I love the large scale size. Do you see that? It's so big. And the shape is stunning. Do you? Oh my gosh. I see that in like a very thin lamp like that and just the shade as a statement. Bomb. Wow, of course I'm gonna run into some more vintage Gucci. Let's feel her. Let's see if she's real. And I think she is real, you guys. Let me check. Yeah, the inside, that's an archive print. And it feels real. Even the zippers look really good quality. Hey, queen. Are you guys into vintage frames, like these gold? Vintage Baroque frames. Could be cool. Hmm. Oh, they're expensive. Oh my god, this is the creepiest thing. My camera is trying to focus on all of the dolls' faces. Oh, I'm scared. I like the chubby horse. Oh my gosh. Do you see him? He is so chubby. $69. Okay. Feels heavy too. That's what I love about vintage. Everything is so well made. Okay, whoa, that is awesome. It's a salt croc from the 1850s. They're selling it for $265. Oh my gosh, so expensive, but so cool. Okay, there go our chairs. Oh no, one fell. Is it okay? Whew, that stressed me out, you guys. One chair fell, but I think we are okay. We are okay. We just got home, everybody, and I actually want to show you there's a little bit of, like, pilling on the seat. So here is the cushion of the chair, and as you can see, there's a lot of wear, and the pilling on the wool is is um, very apparent. And I want to show you, like, this is solid teak wood. Like, it is... It is amazing, and look at that curvature, like the way it curves from the side. And I'm gonna show you how to take this off and make it look brand new again. So before I show you how I'm gonna clean up this chair, I wanna say thank you so much to Nord Green for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now, Nord Green is a Scandinavian watch brand, and when they reached out to me, I knew that I wanted to partner up with them because the designs are 
so so nice i am super inspired by scandinavian designs whether it's fashion or interiors and you guys know that and nordgreen is a scandinavian watch brand the gold with the brown leather strap is just mm, chef's kiss and i have the philosopher watch now this is 40 millimeters which is great for a petite arm like me they have an array of watches to choose from you can customize it you can pick black leather, gray leather, mesh strap. You can even have the dial with black, navy, and really get a customized feel. It's a perfect gift for the upcoming holiday season. So in the Nordic region, they believe in a tradition of creating products that will last you a long time. It's functional, and it's also aesthetically pleasing at the same time, and that goes hand in hand with Nordgreen's sustainability values, which aligns with my own. When you get something that is durable, it's going to last you a long time and you're less likely to replace pieces that are quality made. If you are interested in checking them out, you can go ahead and use my code ARVINO for 15% off. I'm going to leave all of that info down below in the description box. So let's get back to this stunning Danish chair. Now, again, what I love about it is the solid teak wood construction. And I really just want to freshen it up and take care of all of this pilling. I don't know if you could see. Do you see all of that? Like that is all from like wear and tear and it just makes it look kind of dingy. So let me show you what I'm going to do. To take off all of this pilling and unwanted mess, I'm actually going to use a fabric shaver. Now, it has changed my life, especially now that winter is coming and you want to pull out the wool and cashmere pieces, and those pieces tend to pill and have that little weird ball effect. This thing is going to take it off completely and make it look brand new. Let's turn it on and start shaving. And that sound is so satisfying, oh my gosh. Wow, do you see that? It took off all of that excess fabric. That is so good! I just got done kind of cleaning up the chair and making it look brand new again. Let me show you. Look at how much cleaner the fabric is. And we, of course, will plan to reupholster this maybe sometime in the future, but now it just looks a lot more fresh and new. I am going to link this exact fabric shaver down below for you. Make sure it's this exact one. It's rechargeable. Renew your chairs or anything that's wool or cashmere. This is a must have, okay? Must have. We're gonna go run some errands. We're gonna go antiquing and this is just, this is, this is what I live for, okay? This, this is it. Oh, I'm still trying to replace that lamp. I showed you a lamp in my last vlog and it did not work out. I didn't like the shape. I didn't like the way it was standing, so I ordered a different one. I also ordered a custom shade from um, a seller on Etsy, and it's actually coming straight from Turkey, which is so cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and see what else we can find. You know what I love about antique shops? You can negotiate and kind of haggle down the price. I'm not sure if I've said it in the video already, but the dining set was listed for $800. Actually, the owner of the booth was there, and he was already having a 15% off sale. When I asked him if he could go even lower, he went down to $500. Anyway, I just got here to Starbies. I need to get some coffee because, girl, I am exhausted. We woke up at like maybe 7 a.m. today because of marble, and that little guy knows how to, mm, he's just restless sometimes, so. <laughs> I haven't been to this shop in a while and I will say it's a little bit bigger and there's a lot of people in here today. I feel like there's also a lot of new stuff so let's take a look and see what we can find. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I love these tiny little glass vessels. They're so heavy too, wow. How much are they? $15. Cute, love the color. <gasps> okay, I'm loving this little footstool. I actually really enjoy that 
kind of warm wood tone. It's only $25 and it looks super old, which I love. And I think I want to get it to layer underneath my console. Hmm. Okay. So I am looking for a small little piece of art, but I found this small vintage mirror. I feel like that is so cool. It's $6.99 but it would add something different to my gallery wall in the bedroom. And the fact that it's so old, you guys, it's so old. I might have to get that piece. Andrew's probably gonna hate that tiny mirror, but I kind of like it. I think it's really sweet, but let's keep looking and see what else we can find. It only matches my shirt. <laughs> Look at this one. Wow, yes, Queen. She is stunning. Look at her. Look at the details. First of all, her hoops are everything and they move. Okay, $27.50. Wow. She's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I just found all of these lamps in this booth. Let's take a look for anything that's just so sick and dope. I'm looking for a nice base for a custom rattan shade that I ordered. So let's take a look. So I'm looking for something that's just very simple and sculptural at the same time because I want the shade to do the talking. No tea, no shade. Oh my gosh, and this one is kind of scary. I feel like this is some sort of hide or skin Ooh, no 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 i'm very much into this part though like this part of the lamp is dope i wonder how much it is 45 dollars yet yeah, raw hide oh no 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 so this is kind of the closest lamp that i found so far minus the little figurine i want it to just be plain like without that guy black stand and you see how like it has a slight curve that is stunning but i can't find one that's plain it always has like some sort of statue i wonder if i could just like take that part off hmm. yes queen work work get your life with that cape I'm good, thank you. Huh? I'm good. Okay, so that guy just yelled at me because I was taking videos or photos of his booth. And he was like, oh, you know, you gotta ask and there's some one-offs in here, one-off kind of stuff. If you don't want me to take photos or videos, just say so. You don't gotta be all feisty, you know? You can ask nicely. Those are so cool. Brass vessels. Doesn't say the history or where it's made. Looks like it could be from like Morocco or Bali. So cool. And look at the size and compared to my hand. Hmm. Ooh, okay. <gasps> Underneath all of this random stuff, let me take that out. Take that. Okay, wow. This looks like a travertine little side table. I love those spheres up top. I wonder how much it is. Let's take a look. $99? That's it? Oh my gosh, it's totally not my style. Wow, it's gorgeous though. Oh my gosh, I think I may have just found the vessel of my dreams. It's huge, you guys. It's huge. Look at it compared to my hand. It's antique. Imagine it without that little rope. I love that it leans over to the side too. Not sure how much it is. We'll check later. Okay, whoa, this solid brass lamp is sick. It's actually in the shape of a shell. Now, I'm trying to see if that would work in my home because it is so cool. And it's only $35, you guys, 35. I feel like that vessel was such a score. Seriously though, I have been on the hunt for a large antique vessel for a long time 
and I didn't just want to order it blindly online. I was looking for a very specific shape and this was it. I wanted it to be round, curvaceous, and actually the fact that it leans a little bit to the side gives it so much character, so much patina, and ah! I'm so excited to style this up in my home. Okay, everybody, I just got home. Say hello to Marble. Okay, there we go. He is acting up today, everybody. But anyway, I found the most incredible antique vessel. No, 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 you're gonna ruin my shirt. I found the most incredible antique Turkish vessel and let me show you right now because it is huge you guys. It's huge. Okay, so here is the vessel in question and It is stunning you guys. It's antique. It's so old and you can tell like the inside is like The inside is tore up and I love that little crack there. You see it a little crack now Let me show you for size how big it is compared to marble Wait go back go back go back so marble can literally fit inside. Look, marble, marble. It's so big. Look at it compared to my hand. It's massive. So I paid a total of $180. And for an antique piece of this caliber, I'm not even mad because I was about to buy a like small sized antique vessel on Etsy for about 150. And this to me is so much more worth it. So. Anyway, let me show you the last piece, which is that um, antique stool that I got yesterday. Okay, here is the next item, and it is... Oh, hello! Look at the little babies together. Hi, Gingy. Okay, goodbye. So this is a Tony Paul antique stool. It is so beautiful, you guys. Look at that wood tone and the patina on the wicker. It's from the 50s, I did my research. It is an authentic Tony Paul stool. The same ones are selling on Etsy, on Cherish, and First Dibs for about $600 per stool, and I paid about $20, and ugh, I'm actually gonna style this for my console. I just feel like I found the most amazing pieces. Lately, I've just been so inspired to start collecting vintage and antique to really make my space feel special and lived in, make it feel like it has a soul. And a lot of that is because of some of the designers that I follow, like Athena Calderon and stylists like Colin King and a few other people that I'm taking inspiration from. Look at marble on the stool. Oh my gosh, no, 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 no! Oh my goodness. He loves scratching up that leather. Anyway, here is the stool like on the ground. It's just so stunning. I'm loving mixing these warmer wood tones with my lighter washed kind of modern wood. It makes it just so luxurious. And again, it feels like it's been collected over time, which we love. So I have a lot of stuff to do before I film for my updated house tour that's gonna be going up next week, hopefully, fingers crossed. And one of those things that I have to do is put that mirror on top over there so it really opens up this little hallway. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this antique shopping trip and make sure you comment down below and let me know if you liked my finds. Oh, I forgot to show you what the dining set looks like now and I actually already got rid of our old dining set and if you wanna see that, make sure you stay tuned for the updated tour video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone!